showing the new extra small Kansashi flowers that are new at this show here with the clover booth and the flowers in the package they're the flower templates in the package look like this and this is the flower that I'm showing today it's the extra small orchid flower you can see samples of what they look like finished on this here on this um, wreath here and this is a project sheet that's available on our website with all the information for this project and this is another sample of what they look like. It's on a bobby pin here. I have one on a ring. And how we're, how we're making them is we're just using a jelly roll of fabric. So this is already cut to two and a half inches wide. And then we lay the jelly roll out and then cut them with the rotary cutter at two and a half inch intervals. And then we end up with all these coordinating fabrics to make our flowers from. So making the flowers is very simple. You take a piece of the fabric and it goes into this little template. So we open the template up. We take a piece of fabric and fold it on the diagonal. So it's on the bias, that helps it lay nice. Close it into the template, it stays nice and secure. And then we use our nice curved scissors to cut around the outside. And then it becomes a very simple stitching project. I'm using this as our needle case where you can keep all the threaded needles in together, which is wonderful for handwork projects. Um, it's this one. Sorry, I forgot which one it was. So we start in number one, which is right here. They're all numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go up and down through each one of these, and that's how we're going to get our flower. It takes, takes a couple minutes. It's one of those handwork projects, but it's a great project to work on when you're traveling or watching television. It's very simple and portable. And I use a hand quilting thread so that the thread doesn't knot and it's nice and strong. When we finish this one, this is one petal of the flower. And this flower I usually make with six petals. So it does take a little time, but it's a very simple project and you can match the flowers to whatever sewing project you're doing, to your scrapbook page, to your card, to whatever you're going to use it for. And we get to the end and we pull. I didn't knot this because we were doing it fast, so there it is. And so that's one petal. And then we'll keep sewing for all the next five petals, pull them all together and tie it off and we have a flower.